Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to check the strength of a password using Python. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import RE at the top of your code. And then we're going to be doing user underscore password equals a string. This is going to be the password we're going to check the strength of. And then we're going to do print password underscore strength, user password. This is going to be a function we create in a moment. And we're going to pass in our user password and it's going to print out a score. The higher the score, the stronger the password. So we're going to do def password underscore strength password. So we're defining a function and it's going to be called password strength and we take in one parameter and that variable is going to be called password. We're going to do a couple of lines of code. We're going to do score equals zero. This is going to be the score. It's going to start off on zero and then as we check for password, we're going to increase the score based on different criteria. And we're going to do length equals length password. This is going to store how many characters the password has and len password gets how many characters the password has. So we're going to do some if statements. We're going to firstly do if length of the password is greater than or equal to eight and less than or equal to 10, we then increase the score by one. So if the password is equal to eight, nine or 10, you get one point for the, for the strength of your password. We're going to then do elif. 11 is less than or equal to length, length less than or equal to 15. Basically, if the password is 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15 characters long, you're going to get two points instead of getting one point because your password is longer and therefore stronger. Then, you're going, then we're going to do elif, length is greater than or equal to 16, score plus equals three. So if the length is 16 characters long or greater, you're going to actually get three points as opposed to two points because your password is even longer and is more secure. Now, we are going to have a series of if statements. So firstly, all these little blue rejects patterns here, they're going to be in the description below for you to copy and paste. Basically, we're going to do four checks. We're going to check if the password contains at least one lowercase letter. If it does, add on a point. And to do this, we do if re dot search our rejects pattern, then the string we want to check. And in this case, it's going to be our password. And this rejects checks for a lowercase character. If it finds one, you get one point. So if you have 10 lowercase characters, you get one point. If you have one lowercase character, you get one point. We're going to do the same again, but for uppercase characters. The same will apply. If you have 10 of these in your password, you get one point. If you have just one, you also get one point. We're then going to do the same thing again, but for digits, zero to nine. The same applies where you will only get one point if you contain any amount of digits in your password. Then we're going to do the same for special characters. Again, if you have one special character in the password, you get an extra point. If you have 10, you only get one additional point. And so these aren't exclusive. You can get four points here if, you can, if your password contains a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, a digit, and a special character. But if you don't have one of these, then you don't get the point for it. After all that, we're going to do return score to return the score to whatever we called the function so we know how strong the password is. So let's say if I work and hit play. So this is a seven. Why is it a seven? Well, basically the length is greater than 16. So we get three points. We then have uh, lowercase letters. We have an uppercase letter. We have special character and we have digits. So that's why it's a, a strength of seven. However, let's replace that A with a lowercase a. It then drops down to six because we no longer have an uppercase character. Let's just wipe a bunch of these out and only contain a bunch of digits. Well, the strength is on two because we have digits, so we get a point for that. And the length is greater than eight, so we also get a point for that. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.